Hello everybody! Uh, this is like the fifth time I've tried recording this video today. Um, I even forgot to remove what we were actually doing in this video today. Hey. We're adding a second configure file to our plugin. The reason for this is because, why not? Uh, in the next video we'll be adding a reload config command if I could figure out why it didn't work when I pre-recorded this video earlier. But we're going to go ahead and create a second config file for our plugin, load it up, see, make sure it works, and then we're going to use it in the next video as well. So why don't we go ahead and start by just going down to where we create our files, where we created our files originally in this video. We're going to create, we're just going to put a com after the config f, and in this case we're going to put a reasons f, because the next file we're going to do is the reasons.yml file. We're going to do the same thing below, but just put reason without a f, or reasons without an f. Um, so what we're doing is we're defining that this is a new file, it's a new file configuration, and we're just going to go ahead and add another line, and do reasons f equals new files, so we're pretty much doing exactly what we did before, get data folder, comma, and then the name, in this case it's reasons.yml, and just put that there, then we're just going to do the, we're pretty much copying the format, we're going to put if reasonsf dot exists, we're going to do something, in this case we're going to do reasonsf dot get parent file dot mkdirs, just like that. And we're going to save the resource. It's going to be saving the resource of reasons dot oh no, replace false, just like that. Then down here, we're going to do reasons. So we're getting, we're not putting the F in this one. Just remember that I messed up earlier on that and how to re record YML configuration. Then we're going to try to load it by doing reasons dot load reasons 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 f there we go just like that now all you have to do is go over to your resources over here press new file create the username create the name for it you could put something in here like hello this is a file to put the reasons for the new gui coming in a few episode episodes from now or something like that we're not going to use this yet we're just putting it in now, when making other config files, you can have as many as you want. You could have a hundred of these if you want. I don't see why you would need a hundred of them, but you can if you would like it to. Um, it's pretty easy to do. You just create, you just copy the format every single time. So you just copy. You could even copy and paste this. So let's say we wanted to make a um, help.yml. Copy this. Put help.yml instead. Change this to helpf, which we haven't made yet. Change this to helpf. Then up here, you're going to copy this. Just rename this first part to help s f name it help.yml come up here add just a comma put help just like that and then make another comma and put help f just like that you successfully created a help f file then all you have to do is come down here put help equals new y a l so you can pretty much copy and paste this as much as you want um just to create your file and then all I have to do down here is put help dot load help F it's that easy to create a config you can create a config in less than a minute and then of course you have to come over here and add it to your resources go file help dot YML now let's see if this actually worked we're gonna go ahead and I'll just put help me in this one <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and build our artifacts rebuild we're gonna go ahead and upload this to our server and we're gonna see if it creates um, it on our server so here we go. It's successfully exported. We're going to go ahead and reload the server because it was active already. And you can see it's created our folder and we have our three new configure files. We've got our original config file, which is here. We've got our help.yml, which is here. You can see it says help me. We've got our reasons.yml. It says, hello, this is the file to put reasons for the new GUI coming in a few episodes from now. So it's quite easy to do. It's just dragging. It's pretty much copy and pasting our already made config system that we made in the first few videos to create more. We're going to be using these in the next video, which should be coming out later this week. I'm sorry I haven't been able to get a lot of these videos out. I've been quite busy with other things, so I'm going to try to get more of these out soon. So thank you so much for watching episode 16, I believe this is. I'll see you in episode 17. Goodbye.